Hello, I'm Christina with The Turned Leg, and I have a confession. I'm a bit of a craft hoarder, just a bit. Anyone else relate? I have a pile in my basement of things that, oh, I'm going to make pretty someday. And uh, the stash has just grown over the years. I usually am finding more things than I'm actually finishing. So, spring cleaning, it's time to get rid of the stash and finish up some of those projects I want to make pretty. And so today's project is gonna help me get down my stash and make something really pretty. It's also gonna try out the new DIY paint brushes. Oh my goodness, you're gonna love these. And the new JRV rice papers. Let's get started. I found these wall hangings thrifting for only 10 cents each and although they're faded and in rough shape, I knew I could make them look really special with a little bit of paint. The first step was to unscrew the hanger, which was really simple. Since I'm using DIY paint, no prep is needed. DIY paint is a clay-based paint that sticks to anything and comes in a wide variety of colors. If you'd like to purchase any of the painter products that I'm using here today, you can go to my website at shoptheturnedleg.com or visit my booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan. For this project, I'm trying out the Perfectionist brush from DIY Paint. These brushes are the softest brushes you can buy, and they leave a super smooth finish and can hold a ton of paint inside of all of those bristles. If you love DIY Paint, you're going to fall in love all over again with these new brushes. I am using DIY paint in White Swan here. When you decoupage, it's always a good idea to put down a light color so that the decoupage paper shows at its best. The next step was to do something about the wooden frames and paint is always the best solution. I'm using a detail brush from the Turquoise Iris and I am using DIY paint in black velvet. I only needed one coat on the frames and it was time to let them dry. DIY paint lightens as it dries. Once everything was dry, it was now time to decoupage with the new JRV rice paper. This decoupage paper is printed in the US. The best thing about rice paper is that it will decoupage with virtually no wrinkles. For my project, I decided I wanted butterflies, and JRV rice paper has lots to choose from. I decided to choose the scientific butterfly. My inspiration for this project came from Pinterest and those old Victorian mounted butterfly collections. Did you also know that I was a former middle school science teacher? Well, I love all things sciency, and this decoupage paper from JRV fits in perfectly with that. The scientific butterfly, love it, because I'm really not a fan of dead things. So I think this project is going to be perfect. It's going to give me the sciency look I want, and it's also going to create a beautiful collection. We might even add a little bling. The next step was to figure out what part of the scientific butterfly paper I wanted for each one of my tiny frames and cut it out. Your cuts do not have to be perfect. If it hangs over a little, there's easy ways to fix it, but it does save you a lot of time if you can get it pretty close. And then I realized a mistake. 
that could be easily fixed. Remember in the beginning how I painted everything with white swan, which is a really bright white? Normally, if decoupage paper covers up everything, it doesn't matter which white you use. But when I lined up some of the scientific butterfly, I realized there might be gaps that could be seen. So I quickly fixed it by adding a little bit of DIY crinoline to the top of each one of the boards. That matched the color of the rice paper much better. My favorite decoupage medium is DIY liquid patina crystal clear chandelier. You need to lay down a base coat and you need to get good coverage, a nice thick coat, pay close attention to the edges, but just not too much. But more is better than not enough. So lay down a coat and then you're going to put down your rice paper. You can move your rice paper around a little bit, but not too much. Once it gets wet with the decoupage medium, you run the risk of tearing it. So try to get your piece just down and in position and use your fingers to smooth it in place. I changed my mind on this one as I went and that's the great thing about decoupage is you can really make it what you want. I added in a few different butterflies and moths. You want to allow them to dry before you put your decoupage layer on the top. Use the DIY liquid patina as your top coat. And I like to apply around three to four coats. It's really important when you're laying this down as a top coat, at least the first coat over the rice paper, you just swipe it on. Don't go back and forth a lot or you can destroy the rice paper because once it gets wet, it can be easily damaged. So just put down your layer and leave it and then put down a few more coats once dry. Once it's dry, it's time to trim the edges. And you can do this after the first coat is dry or after everything is dry. I usually just use sandpaper for this and I sand like down the edge. And normally that provides the perfect edge. But in this case, there was a raised area past the frame that was just getting in the way and making it very difficult no matter what type of sanding paper or sanding block I used. So instead, I decided to use an X-Acto knife, which worked great. And then I applied a little bit more of the liquid patina to the edges. And now it was time to add a little sparkle. And for this, I chose DIY Gold Gilding Wax Golden Rule. You just apply it like wax. Here I am using a JRV stencil brush to apply. You can also use the gilding wax on metal. So I decided to add a little bit to the hooks that originally came with the frames just to shine them up a bit and then they will dry and it will be like brand new. Are you ready to see how this project turned out? My original plan with these was that I was going to complete them and sell them in my booth, but I fell in love with them and have now added them to my home decor. My living room already had a lot of little collections and with the new maximalism style, this fit in perfectly. And the gold on the frames also matched quite a few other things in my living room space. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I've inspired you. If you have a stash of wannabe craft projects that you can hopefully complete or pare down, now is the perfect time. And also get out there to salvage, repurpose, and create.